So it's day 11 of our grand adventure and we have arrived here in Winter Park. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. Never been here before. We are doing the Go Orlando activities today. We're going to try and get a fair few of them done. But what are we doing? Because I don't know. Well, the first one, if you haven't seen the signs, we are doing a scenic boat tour. Okay. And then we're going to head back into Orlando. I might do, have a look around Winter Park for a little bit because it does look does look really, really nice. Not that nice. we have time because we have come out quite late. It's like two o'clock or something. It's nearly three o'clock. Three o'clock. But so we won't have time to look around. We'll have a little, might have a little bit. Mm. Beautiful day out. 32 degrees, I think we've got. Yeah. Let's go and do the boat tour. Yay. So we're currently walking through probably one of the most beautiful little towns over here that I've ever seen. With so many squirrels, like I can li like literally see like five without moving my head. I feel like I'm in a quintessential American town that you would see. Like Gilmore Girls would yeah. film here. I feel like Gilmore Girls should film here. It's amazing. It's oh. beautiful. Or like, yeah, I can imagine like Total Divas being recorded in somewhere like this. It's just, we looked at property prices. Look, he's eating his little nuts, and now he's gone. Property prices, the houses that we saw started at seven hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred thousand, yeah. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Average, we're about one point two million. It's a dream. So it's... let's just put it that way. It's a dream, and now we've just coming up to a fountain, and it looks just beautiful. Just everything about this little town is amazing. There we go. First, we went and did the boat tour. Oh, it was so nice. The houses were just incredible, like huge houses that just looked beautiful as well. Um, they were very proud of the local university here, Rollins College, I think yeah. it's called. Yeah, it's called Rollins College because it reminded me of Seth Rollins. A lot of like celebrity property as well. Not many that we knew of. No, personally. like basketball players and stuff like that. Like. Oh, there was, I think, BP? One of the head people in BP, yeah. British Petroleum, had a house here at one point, things like that. But it was interesting and it was really nice just to be out on the lake. Yeah, it was uh, a beautiful, a beautiful trip. It's actually, really nice. I, I didn't really expect much of it and I enjoyed it a lot more than I did. Yeah. Probably partly to do with the weather. Oh and yeah, just it's how perfect weather. Beautiful weather and it's a beautiful town. Like I wish we had more time to spend here. Maybe we'll like, get to come back at one yeah. at some point. We um, stopped off for some lunch afterwards. We went into this little sort of, I guess you'd call it maybe? A, a cafe, a bistro called Park View. Uh, and we got a flatbread each. Now, we ordered the flatbreads. I ordered the Caprice flatbread with chicken on it. Ben ordered the duck flatbread and Ben thought that it was a sandwich and I knew that it was a pizza because no, that's you what thought a flatbread it was is. Be a sandwich. No, because I know what a flatbread is. Yeah, but you can get a flatbread um, sandwich. Yes, you can, but it would stay a flatbread sandwich. Anyway, we put on a bet that whoever was wrong would basically have to pay the majority of the bill. And surprise, surprise, Ben was wrong. So that was for nice once. for me. The pizzas, well, the flatbreads were really, really good. Really nice. I liked them because I know that pizza that you get in America are often deep pan and I don't really like that. I like the flat No, flat we, breads, we both prefer thin and crispy. Yeah, and that's what they were and they were really tasty, really nice. So yeah, it, all in all. And it wasn't that expensive. No, really. it was actually pretty, it was pretty good, really. So, it was good, yeah, yeah. It was good. And so now we're heading back off into Orlando to go do some more of these Go Orlando activities and i just got a fly in there we've got a number of them to try and get done yep. we've got ripley's believe it or not we've got the titanic exhibit i believe mm -hmm. we've got go-karting so this should be fun look forward to heading back to orlando it's a shame we're going to leave this beautiful little town oh it's so pretty but it's so nice this is this is the sort of town where you what you see in movies and what yeah. you see in on tv um, yeah definitely it's lovely it's beautiful. And it's a gorgeous day to be here as well. Yeah, you couldn't really have picked a better day. No. They've even got like the train station in the middle of the town, an open train station. I love that. And it's just, oh, I, it's a beautiful place. 
But there's so many little squirrels looking for nuts and they're so cute. I love squirrels. I just want to go up and stroke them, but they'll probably bite my finger off. So yes, we'll go back into Orlando. Yeah, I'm going to head to Orlando and see what we can do out there. So we're here outside Ripley's, believe it or not, in Orlando, back on International Drive. Have you been to Ripley's before? Nope. Never. No. It's sort of like weird things that like you, you can't believe it's true. Yeah. Based on an old TV show or a book, I think, I believe. But I'm we're... looking forward to it. It should be fun. Yeah. Let's head on to Ripley's and let's go see what's happening here. Yay. So we went to Ripley's, believe it or not. What did you think? It was good. It was fun. It was a lot like... Um, it was very much like Wonderworks. Yeah, it had a lot of the same things. Well, some of them were really interesting, uh, like how people used to shrink human heads. So yeah, it was it was interesting. It was fun. Yeah, and then we went to Orlando Eye, but it was a bit of a wait again, and we, yeah. we didn't want to do that. We'd so rather we rather come and do golf. And we went to Titanic, but Titanic was closed. So we're now here at Congo River Golf. Gonna beat you at some goal. Not gonna happen. Definitely gonna happen. This bloody thing is always in the way. Anyway, it's our turn now, so let's get it on. So we're here outside of Fun Spot America, I think it's now called, but Fun Spot on International Drive, an old favourite of mine from when I used to come years ago. It's grown so much, it's massive now. You can you can see where the old theme park, I guess, the old the old park was, and obviously in where the new park is. It's just a massive improvement. You've never been on a go-kart before. No, like I've I've been on a go-kart when I was very, very, very young, but only like in Spain or something or Italy when I went on with my dad, so I was like the little passenger that didn't actually do anything. And obviously you didn't go mega fast because I was only a kid. So it's the first time I've been in one on my own in control, so I was a bit scared. But I loved it, it was great. Like 
Towards the end, we had three goes on three different tracks, and on the third track, I was getting the hang of it. I realised that it doesn't tip, which was what I was worried about, and you can just go as fast as you want, and when you spin or turn, uh, it'll basically just spin the back end out to turn you in the right direction. So I kind of got the hang of it, and it was really fun. I really also wanted to do the Sky Coaster, which is that big swing. I don't know if you can the green see it back. See, it kind of goes all the way from up there. Wait. Some up there, there and it swings up and bend. You're yeah. like 300 feet in the air. And you're like lying down basically. Yeah, but we wanted to do it after the go karts, but it was closed. So we'll have to do that another day. But we did a, a VR yeah, roller VR coaster. Didn't didn't work for me. <laughs> it was good. Like you could do a little shooting, but I was kind of concentrating on the roller coaster. Didn't really do anything. Like but even when you were shooting things, you didn't. Yeah, because they were like basically little, it was like transformers basically and little transformer things were coming towards you and you had to shoot them but no matter how many times you shot one, it did nothing but as soon as one of the VR things shot it, it blew up. So it was as if you weren't actually doing any, any, anything. For that we did golf, we did crazy golf. Yeah, that was so fun. And, um, I didn't, I've only ever done golf at like Stanley Park in Blackpool. Like the little one that isn't great. Um, and when you go on holiday to Spain and stuff, they've got little sort of golf places, but nothing like this. This was huge. It had like loads of steps and stairs to go up and it was really good. Um, we had a treasure hunt that we had to do on the way, but I didn't find everything. And then I got 70 points and Ben got 71 points, which means I won because I did it. I did everything in less goes, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how golf works, but <laughs> you got 70 par. 70 par, and there I got you go. 71. Which still isn't great, to be fair. No, go um, golfers when they play golf, they want to have a negative par. Yeah. They want to be under par. How do they do that? Because they get so if a shot is like par three, they try and get it out in two. Right. No, that didn't happen. I did get a holy one though, which I was well impressed with. I was that just made me night. I didn't care about anything else. I got a hole in one. Yeah. What do you want? As your nan would say. So that was good. And anything else? No. We. Uh, I, I took a wrong turn on the way here. The, the golf place was like across the road. It's like literally a literally across the road. Like we could see fun spot. It was like a stone's throw away. <laughs> I took a wrong turn that took us on like a 20 minute diversion down the motorway. So that's today. Yeah. We've done a load of the Go Orlando things. We're really getting our money's worth out of it. Tomorrow though, we're planning on heading to what well, I'm planning on heading to a beach. Oh, okay. Clearwater Beach, which is very, 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 very nice. Okay. We could do one of the Go Orlando things there. I believe it's the Mozzie or the Aquarium. Oh, okay, or something. Aquarium, yay! Um, <laughs> but we'll see how we, what time we sounds get up in the morning. Good. Yeah, sounds and good. We need to head back, catch up Watch on some wrestling. Catch up on the wrestling and find a way of being able to record footage over the next couple of days yep. until my hard drive comes but until then we're literally cutting it down to the second yeah so speak to you tomorrow when we're mm. on the beach see you tomorrow for day 12 <laughs>